What's going on guys? Hey my channel here and today we are going to do a deck tech. Another one. Because I really like that. I have some uh, openings coming up, some on TCGO, some in real life, but to start this video off, let's open up this pack of Primal Clash. So I love to start off my videos with opening fresh packs of digital cards because I, I love doing that, right? I don't know if we're gonna get anything. Beedrill. That's actually pretty cool. Allergic shock. During your next turn, if the defending Pokemon is damaged by an attack, it is knocked out. That's actually pretty neat. Huh. I like that. I'm going to make a deck centered around this, guys. Foreshadowing right there. Hey, and we got a Kakuna, too. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. I love how Kakuna goes from three retreat to Beedrill with, like, zero. It's funny. Okay, never mind. Uh, so we're done. We are going to go get to this deck that we will be reviewing today. Poison Power. This deck is centered around Krogon from Steam Siege and Dragulge from Breakpoint. Um, so I'm going to go through the Pokemon first and then I'll give you guys the rundown of the deck. So this is considered a budget deck, by the way. It doesn't really cost a lot to make. So we have four of these Krogunks. And we use them for Poison Up. For one colorless energy, if the defending Pokemon is poisoned, put three more damage counters on that Pokemon between turns. This effect can be applied more than once. Now, I know a lot of people run these types of decks, because this deck is all my idea, like, and I actually didn't know about the Ariados uh, Toxic Rope combo. But these kinds of decks, they really get hurt by um, Pokemon Center Lady. They're really just a choice. I, a lot of people don't play them for some reason. I, I, when I verse people, I don't see a lot of people playing center ladies. I see lots of roar, um, roaring seas, uh, rough seas being played to help heal or just potion, more potions than usual or even just cards that heal. I don't see a lot of center ladies, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, but center lady kind of hurts this deck a lot. So before I do that, I know there's a deck that is... Area dose, um, and then you put the para not parallel city chaos tower on your side, so you can't be poisoned. Now the reason, like I don't think I like this better, and I may add an area dose just to help it, even if it poisons yourself, it could be really beneficial for the Krogunk, But it's kind of the same as using the Dragulch. Um, basically, with chaos tower, you the other side, like your opponent, can always get a stadium to replace that. If you're using a Rayquaza deck and they get a Skyfield, or you're versing um, a Skeptile deck, uh, I don't know, whatever, and they can hit you and damage you pretty bad. So yeah, we have four Krogunk in this deck. We have two Toxicroak, and now you may be thinking, why don't you run a 4-4 line? That's because we use the Krogunk to add more damage onto Poison, because that's the main method of attacking in this deck. And people might say it's not the greatest. This deck is, is not, not like a super competitive. I mean, it's competitive, but it's also just a really fun deck to play. Like just playing it is, it's a joyful deck to play. So yeah, we have ability poison enzyme, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's poisoned Pokemon. So from your opponent's poisoned Pokemon, they can't do anything. And that's also very good to learn with Ariados. That's why people run Ariados Toxicroak decks. But then Poison Jab for a Fighting and a Colorless. Flip a coin, if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned and 50 damage. So if you ever need to, you can use that as a last restore. But we have Krogunk mainly here. Then we run Force Grelp and Forge of which is the main method of poison in this, in this deck. Uh, what we do for, you only use it for severe poison for one uh, Psychic, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. But four damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. So then you can essentially, if they don't heal, um, you can be doing 70 damage from poison each turn, which can take out a lot, almost anything in a few turns. And it's status, it's not just damage, so it doesn't, well, I mean, it doesn't waste your attack, but you can always go higher, but then you can be doing 100 damage from poison each turn. Crazy amounts that you could, you can hit with this thing. So that's the strategy overall. Then for items, we get our trainers, we have one fresh water set, trying to heal everyone all around. We have three... I mean, for level ball, because everything in this deck has 90 HP or less, except for Dragulch. Three Prof's Letter, help you get your energies. 
three Ultra Bolt to help you get by those, those Drake Ulge. One Ninja Boy, if you want uh, just Ninja Boy from a... Uh, just just Ninja Boy into a Krogunk. Um, Team Flare Grunt, Disruption, Discard an Energy. Lysander, just to lure out weaker Pokemon like Shaman, so you can poison that and start doing damage on that. We have... Um, and obvious reasons, Sycamores, obvious reasons. We run two Giovanni schemes. You can you sometimes I use it for Tony more damage, but this is mainly for draw support. Now, a stadium I like to run is just one of these one faded town, and this is literally mainly for Mega Rayquaza or Mega Mewtwo if you're versing one of those. You put down a faded town, and they slowly take more damage each turn. My mouse just fell. Give me one minute. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> Faded Town, just hurt Megas. Then we have three Floatstone in this deck, just to retreat free. Four Fighting Fury Belt to keep your Krogunk alive. And for energies, we got four Fighting, ten Psychic. Very simple deck. Right now I just have a Gengar coin, this beautiful deck box. And Arceus Sleeves, because why not? So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And we are going to go try this out in a versus match. So I was telling you guys about a Waylord deck not too long ago. That deck is a very fun deck to play. I just have to touch it up a little bit. Alright, we've got our opponent. That deck should be coming out in the near future. Mr. Ooh, kill him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love that name. So yeah, I'm going to be um, making that deck overview very soon. It's, it can be countered easily, but it's fun, just fun playing it. So we run the coin flip. Yeah, we're going to go first. So yeah, enough about that. Oh, no basics. Mulligan. Um, let's go into this. I think that they're running an Eveltal or a Dark Ride deck. That's what I think. Because when you see someone running a dark type deck, it's usually Veltal or Dark or Dark Ray. Right, let's mulligan this away. What do we got? Oh, nothing again. Wow. Okay, we got a scrub. So this is not a terrible hand, but it's not really that good. So they're gonna, they're gonna take their mulligans. Hopefully they don't drop my nuts this time. Okay. I'm going to give you guys an actual play through of this deck. Not just me winning and getting closer to the sweet, sweet Toxic Rookie X for an expanded. Versus Shandy DS with a metal type deck. Probably Magirna, Krabalia. Let's go ahead for Tails Never Fails. Hey, yeah, we won the coin flip. We're gonna go first again. Alright, nothing in our hand. We're gonna have to mulligan. So these guys are you playing a serious metal type deck right here. Like, they have the metal sleeves. They got the metal deck box. I mean, they're going for like all metal over here. This, I think, I'm gonna say that's a Magirna and a Cobalion right there. That's That's my guess. Or they're running a uh, Ancient Origins Metagross stack. Okay, we got a Krogunk to start. This is actually not a bad hand. Take a look at Ninja... Yeah, wait, done. Ninja Boy. Yeah. Or even if you need to Ninja Boy into a Skrelp. I mean. Ninja Boy is a pretty fun card to play. We're just waiting for them to look at their mulligans. And we will get on our way. If he concedes again, that's gonna be... If this person concedes, that will be hilarious. I'd love to see that. Do, do, do. Alright, finally. 
That took longer than it needed to. Oh, Caesar. Oh. That's interesting. We may have a hard time with this. Probably. Next poison, not poison resistance, but we don't use any psychic attacks. That is very interesting. Let's go ahead and Sycamore. We don't have a good hand. Okay, good. Scrap. We're going to put Ultra Ball away this, and then Ultra Ball away the... We're going to need that Lysander. Ah, oh, shoot. There's Fang Fury Belt. We got to get that Drake Ultra. This is actually going to be a very fun match. All right, end of turn. Okay, fairly straightforward approach. We're going to go ahead and go on to scrub. You know what? And attach attach this to Krogan. And I'm going to Sycamore this away. And maybe I'm going to see if I can get a Zox Krogan. All right, level ball. Toxicroak has 90 HP. I'm gonna evolve, and I'm gonna try and do some damage to this. Hopefully, get it poisoned so he can't do anything to us. But yeah, let's go for poison jab. No poison. Next turn, we are probably knocked out. If he does a retreat, uh, actually, no. We have one more turn to get him poisoned. Let's go ahead and attach this here. And let's go for a Giovanni scheme and beef him up. Hopefully we can poison him. Yeah, poisoned. Huh, now he can't do anything to us. So you can yeah, you can use this with Toxic Croak. That's why people use Ariados Toxic Croak a lot. I was using See Center Lady, we absolutely got destroyed by that. See? But now we got our Drag Knowledge all powered up and ready to go. Let's go for level ball and we're gonna try and get another Crow Gunk out and ready. Krogunk, FFB, Fighting Fury, uh, let's go here, and you know what, let's go use an N. Okay, 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 it's not, not that bad, not that bad. So, another tip with this deck, you always want to get your fighting energy on this first. Just in case you need to go into a Toxic Croak so you can use its attack. But right now, uh, I think we're just going to go for a Severe Poison. So yeah, Center Lady, like look, absolutely just wrecked us. He's powering up the Forbidden Iron Hammer. Lucky for us, not many, um, we don't use any EXs in this deck. That's prop, pop. That is why it is a budget deck, basically. And poison damage. So we're gonna do a very very cheeky move over here. Attach your Dragulge. We're gonna go retreat. That's why you get the float stones onto your uh, Dragulge. Um, we're gonna go ahead and poison this thing up. So it takes 70 from poison this turn. And it would have been knocked out anyway. But I just want him to get knocked out by a Krogunk because that is very fun. We got a Dragulge and a float stone. Perfect. That is. Those are very good prizes right there. And his Forbidden Iron Hammer will not take us out because we have the Fighting Fairy Belt and we have 100 HP. Iron Head, okay. Okay, we're gonna go with Float Stone, this Drake Orange. I'm gonna play this Skrelp. Attach this to Drake Orange. Let's go ahead and we're gonna retreat and send out Drake Orange. Um, I don't really need to do anything right now. Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna Lysander this Bronzong. I'm going to severe poison this thing. So we cannot retreat unless he gets a switch. This is a Bronzor, sorry, this is not a Bronzong, it's a Bronzor. My bad. But unless he gets a switch or an escape rope or something. Oh, what is he trying? Oh, he's going for a Prof Birch. 
Then this thing is knocked out, and we're already in the lead because we took out his Caesar. So we took out his Caesar disruption. We have 18 cards left in our deck, which is kind of neat. And we knock out the bronze on. Let's go ahead and take this. See what this is. Hey, Sigma. All right. Kind of don't want to use that because we're already gonna deck ourselves out. But sends out a Honage. Okay, okay. I see. I see. Uh, let's go Dragolge the Scrub. Let's try and get a Fighting and a Sakak. A Sakiak. This is gonna be long video. Wow. Krogunk. That to that. And we're gonna go ahead and Severe Poison. And hopefully next turn this thing will be knocked out. I know he's trying to power up this Cobalion and this uh, Forbidden Iron Hammer, Mr. Reggie Steel over here. Uh, no, we dubladed it. Oh, he's gonna try and false swipe. Oh, I see a lot of decks that use false swipe and eradicate. That's actually oh Magirna. All right, I was actually right. I called it Magirna Cobalion. Even though the sad, sad truth is that this guy is getting knocked out this turn. I don't know why he evolved to Dublade. It was his inevitable doom. So even if he takes out this Drigalge... Oh, sweet, a Toxicroc. Yeah, even if this Drigalge is taken out, we can send in our other one with the Float Stone, which is good. And poison him. If he doesn't send our lady, then we can go back. We can go to the Krogunk and just take him out. So we're going to send in our other Dragolge. So we're beating him 2-4 to four right now. I think I'm going to evolve into this Toxicroak. And that. And I'm going to Severe Poison. I don't know why I couldn't hit him. Oh, Magirna. Okay, I forgot he had a Magirna there. That's why we have a Toxicroak. Oh jeez, I completely forgot that. We're gonna retreat and send in our Toxicroak. Okay. Is there anything else we can do first? I'm gonna attach this to Krogan Poison. And we just have to hope that we can Poison Jab this thing to its inevitable doom. We just... I think we might have lost this match. We have to hope. Okay. We are literally down to the bone, just trying to knock this thing out. We can't poison it or anything, let's just hope he doesn't have an energy. If he has an energy, we really can't do anything. Like, we can't do anything. Where are candy? Oh, he's... Oh, okay, this was, yeah, I was partially right. Okay, good, we're still in this. We are still in this. We're going to attach this to our Krogan. We are still in this match. Poison jab this thing. Knock it out. Energy, all right. So he's probably going to send in his Cobalion, yeah. And he's going to try and take us out hit for hit. Yeah. I used to run the old Shaman like this, the Shaman EX Revenge Last one. So now, yeah, we really, we can't do anything right now. Like, there's nothing at all we can do. Uh, I have to concede, we can't do anything. But, very good, he's gonna end up winning. But we got them through one prize card. If he didn't get that Magirna out, we 100% would have won. But hey, you know what? At least we get one token, right? Alright guys. So, this was my... My mouse fell again. This was my deck overview on my little deck that I made, Poison Power. Um, you can see my right click over there. 
But yeah, my little deck made around this beautiful little Krogonk who was revealed for Pokémon. This awesome Toxic Croak, this Dragulch, and we can't li live out, leave out this Skrelp. So anyway, guys, I want you to like this video. Very much appreciate it if you enjoyed it, and I will be doing more deck techs in the future. I'll definitely do some openings because I love to open up stuff. It's fun. But yeah, you know, we got this Krogonk over here. Look, you can stare at his beautiful face. Um, yeah, so like this video if you enjoyed. Comment on this video. Tell me what you think. If you want, if you have an idea for a deck, I'll make it happen and I'll make a video and I'll shout you out. And um, subscribe means so much to me. All right, guys, it's been Hitman Channing. Remember to poison up for next time. That was a really bad pun, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.